Baptist Church. Amen. Man, I knew your church name. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Amen. I had to straighten that out because I, I don't want your wife to cook me when she sees it. <laughs> Amen. And also, we had another church to join uh, that is without pastor at this time, and we want to be prayerful for them, but they did come in and join, and they even sent their money. Amen. That's the Mount Carmel Baptist Church of the Riggins community over in North Birmingham. So let's give them a hand. Amen. We're praying for them that they will, the Lord will send them a shepherd. I've been working with them uh, in their interim period. You know, every church needs to be in an association. Amen. Sure. Every church needs a moderator. Sure. Amen. Yeah. Because there are times when the church uh, needs direction. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Those who give leadership in the local church, they need the direction. Yes. Sure Amen. There are times when pastors need direction. direction. Amen. Amen. I'm in the midst right now. One of the things on my agenda is to make a video, Dr. Ball, for a pastor who is having deacon problems. All right. All right. Okay. And I told him I couldn't come and do a seminar, but what I'll do is I'll video it and send it to you. Yeah. Amen. Because sometimes things in the local church get out of hand. Yeah, Amen. Especially when we run our churches more on tradition than we do on Bible. Amen. Amen. It's a shame. It's a shame. It is not. It is not an an, an invitational scripture. It's a shame that in Revelation three twenty the Lord had to say, "Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hear my voice." And open up. We're talking about the one who died for the church. Yeah. And he got to stand at the door. At the door. And knock. The yeah. one who told Peter, I'm giving you the key. Yeah. To the kingdom. Man. Yeah. Right. And he's outside the door. Yeah. Knocking on the door of his bride. If yeah. I if I go to 101 Newport then yeah, and my key don't work. And I got the you know, knock on the door. Yeah, no. Something wrong somewhere. Yeah. Amen. All right. Amen. I ought not have to knock. Right, it's a shame when the church puts Jesus out. out. Yeah, no. And he has to knock to gain access to his own church. Yeah. To these pastors, thank you so much. And to all of you who make up this this congregation tonight and those of you who are in internet land, I just want to thank you and I want to thank this host pastor Amen. for Amen. being such a gracious host. Amen. Amen. 2020 has been a trying year. Yes. But through it all, through it all, through it all. Through we're all. still here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God has brought us through these turbulent times. Yes, sir. It was, grace it was grace that brought us safe thus yeah. far. Absolutely. And grace will lead us on. Yeah. 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 We are blessed. Yeah. Amen. I'll say that again. Yeah. We, we are, are. We are. blessed. Yeah. Yeah. We are part of a triumphant army full of victors yeah. that are on our way to victory. Yeah. Yeah. Let me take this time to thank the officers of this association. Each one has exhibited the spirit of cooperation. All right. Auxiliary leaders, you have done an excellent job. And I dare not withhold commendation from our senior woman president for the outstanding work she's done just yeah. because she's my sister. All right. All right. She's done a good job. All right. Amen. It just happens that we've got the same mama and dad. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Amen. That wasn't our fault. We didn't do that. No. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't arrange that. That was that. That, that was Mr. Ross and Ms. Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I want to thank again our state president. Yes. 
Reverend Alexander and our worship leader, Reverend Anthony, yes. who stood by our family yes, on September 5th, 2020 at the First Missionary Baptist Church of Sheffield yes, as we laid the mortal remains of our father, Ross T. Hammonds, to rest. All right. Thank you. Billy Spring Manley, for your prayers, yes. for your words of encouragement, for your cards, and everything that you did yes, to help us through our time of bereavement. Amen. Our prayers are with our vice moderator, Reverend Timothy J. Woods, yes, Sr. Yes. In the passing of his beloved brother, Reverend Freedom Woods. Yes, we lift Bishop Calvin Woods and the yeah. entire Woods family yes, sir. during their time of bereavement. We fondly remember Sister Rosetta Pope, yes, sir. Yes, yes. who labored among us in the music ministry. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Sister Pope was faithful. Yes, sir. Amen. And all others who passed away from our association churches uh, during this year, we honor their memories as yes. they have passed from labor to reward. Yes. And they stand in the grandstands of heaven saying to us who are still on the field, yes. fight on. Fight on. Yes. Fight on. Heaven is real. Yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. One day we're going to join that man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, because of coronavirus yes, sir. and uh, the hurricane, the National Baptist Convention of America annual session was canceled. Mm -hmm. But this year we did have our National Congress. It was virtual and free to all who wanted to attend. Yes, Amen. When it was first announced, I, I registered for me and my wife's class, and uh, uh, when I knew anything, Dr. Alexander, they had refunded my money on yes. my credit card. Yes, I said, ain't God all Amen. right. Yes. Amen. Our president made the Congress free to anyone who yes. wanted to to be a part of it, amen. amen. Uh, and that answers the question of folks when they say, well, what is the convention doing? <laughs> yeah, amen. You, you, you should have took one of the classes for free. <laughs> right. Billy Spring Manley stands with our state convention and our National Baptist Convention amen. in the work of the kingdom. Yes, it is a blessing that our finance director yes, sir. is also the chairman of the board of trustees yeah. of the Birmingham Baptist Bible College, yeah. Dr. E.O. Jackson. E. O. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, we always are knowledgeable of the condition of our school. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. We did have one student in the school on scholarship before the pandemic hit he has since transferred to Liberty University online. All right. We shall resume our support when the Lord delivers us from this virus. Yes, sir. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. I said when the yeah. Lord yeah. delivers yeah. us yeah. from yeah. this virus. Yes, sir. I do have a couple of recommendations that I want to make before I get into the word tonight. Yes, sir. That's number one, that we do all that we can during this time of pandemic to nourish our churches with the word of God. Amen. Sure, sure. That we take advantage of all free streaming services and paid streaming services. Yeah. Yeah to get the word of God to our people. Yeah, no. we, we pray mightily, number two, for the containment and cure of the coronavirus. Yeah, no. We pray for the healing of those who have it and the comfort of those 
who have lost loved ones because of it. Yes, sir. Number three, that we vote in the November 3rd election yes, by any means yes, necessary. Yes, absolutely. Amen. You are so right, Pastor Hill, and I thank God for your encouraging us tonight and, yes. and, and, and impressing on us the urgency Good. to make our voice heard. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every church ought to encourage voter registration. Yes, sir. You can still register online until October the 19th. Yes, sir. Just go to the Secretary of State website, www.sos.alabama.gov. Gov. All right. If, if you can't remember all that, just Google Secretary of State yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alabama. Yes, sir. Amen. And you can register to vote on line and those churches who have vans and buses help provide rides to the poll. Yes, Let's get our people out to vote. That's right. Don't let them have the excuse of I didn't have no way to get there. All right. I have pledged to make my car an unpaid taxi cab. All right. On November 3rd, to take folk to the polls they want to go. Number four, and finally, that we continue to speak truth to power. Amen. Amen. Because the black church is the only church that is speaking truth to power. Lord have mercy. It seems like the Caucasian pulpit yeah. has caught a case of lockjaw. Lockjaw! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But their silence, Dr. McDaniel, yeah. shows their complicity. Yes, sir. Right, right. right. That, 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 it, it, uh, if they love the Lord like they say they do. Right. And you love God by loving people. Yes, sir. That's the way. How can they stand to see God's people shot down in the streets, yes, in their homes, uh, mistreated yes, and, 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 and terrorized yes. in their own country and not say yes, nothing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not say a word. Can't do it. Yes, sir. But I believe that Ahab and Jezebel got some prophets. Yes, sir. Yeah. They're still eating at their table. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I was so encouraged to hear from a, a brother at a, at a white church that that that, 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 that that let it be known that he wasn't one of them that's quiet. Uh, yeah. right, 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 right. God's got some good folk. God got some. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And some folk can see further than the red, white, and blue. Yeah. Right, right, right. And, and see the red blood of Calvary. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, sir. Jesus said, and I quote, Yes, sir. And I, if I be lifted up yes. from the earth, will draw all men. All men. Not all rich men, not all poor men, not all white men, not all black men, not all Republican men, not all Democrat men, but all men. All men. All men. Unto me. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That's what he said. I, I was, when I was a little boy, I had a transistor radio, Dr. Hatcherson, yeah. and uh, it, it operated off batteries. And, and yeah. back then, uh, all of the black stations in Birmingham signed off at sundown. Yes, sir. So if you wanted to listen to the radio at night, you had to listen to a white station. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was a Sunday night, and, 
and the services of, 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 of First Baptist Festival used to come on the radio on Sunday night and, and the white pastor was there and uh, on Sunday night I was listening to him on the radio and he said, I know y'all missed me this morning, yeah. but uh, I took a Sunday off to go to hear my maid Beulah sing. She sang a solo at her church today and yeah. Me and the wife took off so we could go over there and Amen. hear her sing. Amen. And oh my God, that she sang. I tell you, she sang so well that when I get to heaven, I'm going over in the colored section <laughs> so I can hear Sister Beulah sing. <laughs> and, and, and you got folk that think like that yeah. right now. They do? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Going to the color section. There ain't no color section. All right. Yeah, man. And my, and my granddaughter said there ain't but two sections, and that's the smoking section and the non smoking section. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Tonight I want to look at, uh, look at, look at a passage of scripture. Yeah, I'm so glad to see all of these pastors here tonight. Yes. Yeah. Really, really make my heart feel glad. And glad that all of you joined by way of. Of media, I want to thank the Williams uh, yes, brother sir. and sister yeah. Ray and yeah. Father William. Yeah. They've been here all the week helping us in the media. I want to thank the Mount Zion Baptist Church who yes. are streaming yes. us yeah. over yeah. their website. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you all so very much. But there, there is a word. Yes, yes, Jeremiah twenty. Yes, sir. Verse 9. Verse 9. And I'm, I'm going to read it from the English Standard Version. Yes, sir. That's a good one. It says, If I say, if I'm all right. I will not mention him, uh -huh. nor speak any more in his name. Won't do it. There is in my heart, yes, sir. as it were, a burning fire. Yeah. Shut up in my bone. Yeah, yeah. And I am weary with holding it in. Yeah. And I cannot. Lord have mercy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Right. Pastor Harris, I, I thought you were peeping on my sermon. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to talk tonight just for a little while from, from the subject why we can't help it. All right. Why we can't why why we can't okay. help it. Will y'all help me tonight? Yeah, yeah. We with you. You got help. The call to preach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is only understood yeah. by those who are called. Yeah. I, I need some help right now. Go ahead, go ahead. That's 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 that's, 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 that's what I'm working with. Uh, Work with the call to preach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is only understood. Yes, sir. By those who are called. By those who are called. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Love you, Mary. She's at home at my daughter's house tonight. They're watching. This is the first time I've been to this. Association without my wife, I'm missing you, baby. Yes, yeah, sir. I know you're praying for me. Yeah, yeah. But uh, our wives, uh -huh. children, uh -huh. parents, uh -huh. siblings, yeah. relatives, yeah. and friends, yeah, sir. no matter how close they are to us, yeah, sir. don't fully understand. Fully understand. A God called preacher. Yeah. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Say it, man. We have a spiritual condition. All right. All right. Called the can't help it. Can't help it. All right. Can't help it. We go when we don't feel like going. Yes, Sick, sick, broke, broke, 
talked about, lied on. I'm talking about by the folk you trying to help. Underpaid. Underappreciated. Underrespected. There are times when we should be attending to ourselves. Enjoying our family. Having some rest and relaxation time. Or just some quiet time with you and the Lord. Yes, sir. Lord, have mercy. have mercy. But you have to stretch yourself yes, do it. Yeah. to minister to your church. All right. Yeah. All right. Lord, have mercy. Right. Y'all praying for me? Yes, Many ministry marriages All right. break up because some wives yes, sir. see the ministry as a mistress yes, sir. Yeah. that makes her second <laughs> and that takes time away from her that she could have spent with her husband. Oh. Are y'all praying with me? <laughs> Pastor's children see the ministry as an enemy yeah. and many turn away from the church yeah. in their adulthood yeah. the God called preacher God called. has been told by people who love him yeah, right, right. when they see him going through yeah. just stop yeah. Take a break. Take a break. Tell them Negroes to go to hell. Last year, I had a bout with cancer. One of my oldest and dearest friends came to me and said, Quint, every year, you're having to go into the hospital for something. Every time you get out, you go right back to the pulpit. Yeah, you go right back to preaching revivals, yeah, yeah. doing hard preaching and singing all over the country. That's true. That friend told me yeah, that the Lord told her, told her. to oh, tell oh. me uh. to take a year off. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Don't preach no way. <laughs> and let your body heal. Oh. This is what she told me. The Lord told me. She said the Lord told her to tell me that you got associates yeah. at the church yeah. that can handle the preaching at Antioch. Uh, and and you can Send Tremaine and Daniel yeah, yeah, yeah. on them revivals that you're doing. Yeah. Give your body a chance to heal. Yeah. I told her. I told her. I love you. Yes, sir. But I can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do it. I feel your concern. Yes, sir. I feel it. But I can't do that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yeah. y'all know me. Yes, sir. We know you. And I don't believe the Lord told you that right. to tell me that. That's right. He can't talk. That, that, that was what you wanted yeah. for me. Yeah. When you're called by God, yeah, right. you can't help it. You can't help it. You can't help it. My assignment tonight is to investigate this passage of scripture. Investigate it. Investigate it. Give you a biblical reason why God called preachers. Yes, sir. Give us a reason, God. Just can't help it. Can't help it. All right, all right, all right. This passage contains the words 
of Jeremiah. Yes, yes. Uh, Jeremiah's experience and testimony yeah, may help you to better understand yeah. the God called preacher in your life. Yeah. My, Lord. My, Lord. My God, Lord. When I counsel, yes, sir. Talk, man. Talk. those who young women that were married, yes, sir. preachers. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have to give them some hard advice. All right, that's all right. I have to tell them, daughter, huh? don't ever make yourself the rival of his ministry. No, no, don't ever do it. Because if he has to choose. Yeah, Between God and you. Yeah, uh, you gonna come up on the losing end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. So instead of competing with God, yeah. compliment yes. his ministry. Yeah, no. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Be married. To Mary Alice for 41 years. All right. And I thank God that I've never had to make that choice. Yes, sir. All right, God. Amen. Amen. Well, 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 there are some things in this passage. Think about that. And I'm trying to help not only preachers, but those who have preachers in their lives. Yeah. yeah. First of all, Dr. Anthony, I want to. Explore Jeremiah's prenatal call. Alright. Oh, <laughs> he, according to chapter one. Yes, sir. Right. Verse five. The Lord said, "Before I formed you, yeah, 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 yes, sir, in your mother's womb." Before. I knew you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dr. Robert, that messed me up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that word no. No. That's the other. Yes, sir. It means to experience. Yes, sir. That's it. And how can you experience yeah. before yeah. formation? Yeah. How can you do it? That, that's impossible for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But that's possible for God. Lord, have mercy. 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 Uh -huh. He said, before who we are. Before. He says, he says, he said, he said, before. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. B before I formed you. Yeah. I formed you. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you. I knew you. <laughs> So I formed you uh -huh. by my knowledge of you. That's why I don't bother the Lord because I ain't 6'5". Yes, sir. Because he knew me before he formed me. And he made me by his Jehovistic blueprint. Yeah. And since it was his will that I be five six yeah. instead of six five, yeah. I say right on King Jesus. Yeah, no. Jeremiah said, Jeremiah said, Jeremiah. Jeremiah was, was, was called before he was born. Yeah. But then, but then, but then this that ain't all to the to the prenatal call. He said, yes, sir. He said I, 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 I experienced you I before I knew you. Uh. He said, before you came out, <laughs> what, what, what? I sanctified you sanctified. and I ordained you. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Let's not give this Old Testament passage a New Testament okay. connotation. Is there? Is there? Okay. Is there? okay. <laughs> let's, let's keep it in context. Keep it. Sanctification. Uh huh. In this text, ain't got nothing to do with holy dance. No, 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 no. All right. 
Sanctification in this text ain't got nothing about talking in tongues. No, no. No, no. To be sanctified. Yes. In this Hebrew narrative. Yeah. Means to be prepared. Prepared. Yeah. 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 Before you came out. Yeah. I prepared you. Yeah. Oh, man of God, please hear me tonight. Please hear me tonight. Because see, you were taken surprised by that thing. Yeah, sir. But God was. Because he saw it. Yeah. Before you were born. Yeah. So he prepared you for it. Yeah. Before you came out. Yeah. So that when you were run into it, you could handle it. That, that's why you have lost your mind. That's, yeah, that's, that, that's why you ain't cussed and, and fought and shot 12 deacons and none of that. That's why you can still love the folk that despitefully use yeah. you because God prepared you. That's right. You All right. It. He prepared you. Yes, he did. And then he ordained you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh, hey. He, he, he sanctioned you. Yes, he did. For this work. Yes, he did. Right, 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 right. Now, the sanctification has to do with the preparation. preparation. But the ordination has to do with the spiritual power uh -huh. that the Lord gave you yes, sir. to handle what you have to handle. All right. Lord have mercy. Let me ask this question to pastors in here. Has the Lord ever brought you through something and you look back on it and say, how in the world did I get through that? Yes, sir. He's done it. Yes, sir. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that's because he has prepared you yes. and ordained you. Yes. And, and the blessed part about it is he did it all before you were born. Oh, yeah. Dr. Bill, that it took me uh, 16 years to catch up yes. with the will of God. Yes. And I ran two more years. Yes. And I saw it. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't turn it over to the Lord until I was 18. Yes. I told my family, hallelujah, yes. when I was 18, but the Lord had done it yes. prior to March 26. Yes. 1956. Yeah. Before I was born, he had already yeah. ordained me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, he had done it. Yes, sir. He did. He did. He did. He did. The Lord prepared. Yes, he did. Yeah. And the ox tenth pastor. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> uh, doctor. Yeah, no. Before. 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 I was born. Yeah. And in 1956, yeah. Dr. J.R. Walker was the pastor. Yeah. And they didn't know why they were worshiping at 1220 Hattie Street in 1956 under Dr. J.R. Walker that at Bessemer General Hospital, their 10th pastor was being born. Yeah. 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 But God knew. But God. Yeah. So, 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 one of the reasons why you can't have it is because, you know, it was in you. It was in you. Before you were born. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't care if you were 80 years old before you confessed it. Yeah. It was in you. Before yeah. you were born. Before you were born. Yeah. Now let's look at Jeremiah's yeah. personal equipping. Yes, sir. In, we're still in chapter 1. In verse 9, it says that he touched touch. his mouth. Touch. He put his hand, put his hand. on Jeremiah's mouth. Lord have mercy. Yes, sir. And put his words right. in his mouth. Yes, it is. Ooh, Lord. Jeremiah didn't have a Bible to preach from. No, no. Jeremiah didn't have a canonized script to preach from. No, it did. Jeremiah didn't have an inspired book to preach from. No, it did. But the Lord had to put into his mouth yeah. the word that he had to preach. Yes, yeah, right. And the glorious thing that I love about this yes, sir. is that God didn't put his word 
where he didn't first lay his hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That God laid his hand even though he was ordained yeah. before he was born. Yeah. The Lord did a reenactment. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, sir. And laid his holy hand yeah. on Jeremiah's yeah. mouth. Yeah. And put his words yeah. in his mouth. Yes, that was Jeremiah's personal equipment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every preacher got some personal equipment. Yes. Yeah. Right, right. Amen. Every preacher ought to have a personal relationship with yes. God. Yes, sir. Amen. See, that sermon that the Lord gave T.D. Yates was for Potter's house. Yeah. That's right. That, yeah, yeah, that word that God gave, if God gave, Robert Jeffries is for First Baptist Dallas. Yeah, 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 yeah. If God gave. Yeah. What would I look like in Robert Jeffries' book? Yeah. Trying to find a sermon to preach to Antioch. Yeah. When God gave Jeffries that sermon for First Baptist Dallas. Yeah. I ought to have some personal, personal. time with the Lord. Yeah. That the Lord can lay his hands on me yeah. and give me the word that's going to bless my people. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, one of my first assignments in the National Congress was to teach the class uh, uh, closing the back door. Yeah, sir. It was a class on Membership retention on how to keep your members. Yeah, no. And I had a problem with it, and I went to the dean when he assigned to me the book. I had a problem with it, and he said, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to deal with it. I said, okay, well, let me come up with my own. Yeah. He says, all right, if you can do that, because this was my problem. Yeah. Dr. Ball, the book was written by a white Lutheran all right. in Idaho. Yeah. Idaho. How the white Lutheran, white Lutheran. in Idaho yeah. gonna tell me how to keep black Baptists in Birmingham? Yeah, no. We need personal, personal. equipment. Yeah, no. And if you've been called, God will give you a word yes, he will. for your people. Yeah, no. I ought to have a witness in here. Yeah, no. Amen. God will give you a word. You. I, I know that I admire Robert Alexander's preaching. I think that he's one of God's most gifted preachers. But I ain't going to Antioch and preach his sermon word for word. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to be inspired by his sermon. Amen. And I'm going to go before the Lord and say, God, help me to mix some hammers in this. <laughs> I got to make this applicable to your folk on Hattie Street. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, God. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, look. Okay. Read that. This prenatal call. Yeah, look. Yeah, huh? This personal equipment. But uh -huh. then in, in, I, I see in the text Jeremiah's preaching dilemma. Yeah, look. Uh -huh. Preaching dilemma. Okay. Watch this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jeremiah was abused. Uh -huh. Yeah. And physically mistreated yeah. Yeah, no. by a religious man. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yes, sir. Listen at that. Yes, he was. Pashu uh -huh. uh -huh. was a priest. Was a priest. Uh -huh. Yeah. A religious man. <laughs> a man who God trusted yes, sir. to bring the petitions of the people. Yes, sir. Before his throne. Before his throne. You know, the priest and the prophet yeah. worked swaying shit. Yeah. The prophet spoke to God yeah. for the people. Yeah. And, 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 and the, the people, the priest spoke. No, no. The priest spoke to God for the people, yeah. and the prophet spoke to the people for God. Yeah. Yeah. So while Jeremiah was telling the folk, yeah. Pashur was supposed to have been telling the law. Yeah. But Pashur didn't like what Jeremiah was preaching. Like it. Uh, yeah. 
and uh, yeah, no. slapped <laughs> him. Yeah, no. out of Who God? Yes, he did. Yeah. Robert, I had to repent while I was writing this. Yeah, no. <laughs> slapped the preacher. Slapped the preacher. Hit him. Hit him. Jailed him. Jail. Jail. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He did do that. Had his feet and hands fastened uh -huh. in stocks. Uh -huh. Made him a public ridicule. Love have mercy. Yes, sir. Humiliation. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. He did do that. Had folk coming by laughing at him. Yeah. That's right. Look at the preacher. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, he ain't doing much preaching now. He all, oh, look at that knot on his head. Yeah. 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 People were making fun of him. Uh-huh. He felt ridiculed. Yeah, sir. He felt like a laughing stock. Yeah, sir. But here, his preaching dilemma runs him into a passionate testimony. Uh -huh. Notice him. Notice it. Jeremiah did not say that he would not preach anymore. That's right. That's an error. That's an error that's been preached from a lot of pulpits. Jeremiah did not quit on the law. No, no. Jeremiah didn't resign. Jeremiah didn't, didn't, didn't walk away. Jeremiah says, if. That's why I read it in the English Standard Version. Yeah. If yeah. I say uh -huh. that I won't speak anymore. Yeah. Now think about it now. He's hurting. He's hurting. He's hurting. He's hurting. He's physically abused. He's he's physically shackled. He's yeah. a laughing stock. Folk, folk, folk making fun of him. And, 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 and here he is. And got to preach. Yeah, sir. Uh, he got and fastened up in stocks. Yes, sir. And and the temptation. Yes, sir. Came and he says, if, 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 if I would say, yeah, uh -huh. that I won't speak anymore in his name. Yeah. See, see, that that's that's that that he says if, 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 if. he didn't say I ain't gonna preach no more. That's right. That's right. He said if. That's right. Y'all still with me? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna be through in a minute. Case, then look at, he says, if I would say, I ain't gonna preach, I'm not gonna speak in order his name. Yeah, uh -huh. Look at the position look at it. of the word. Uh -huh. In chapter one, uh -huh. it was in his mouth. In chapter 20, it's in his heart. Yeah. All right, all right. Nah. Yeah, sir. <laughs> no, no. He says, wow. if I say it, yes. I ain't gonna preach so long. His word would be in my heart. Yeah, yeah. Right, Young preachers, hear me. Hear me. His, the word of God was in his heart like a burning fire. Yes, sir. Like That's a metaphor. Yeah, yes, sir. Right. The word was in his heart. Yeah. Like. 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 That's right. The word wasn't in his bones, Dr. McDaniel. The word was in his heart. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. yeah, sir. yeah and when something is in your heart, it's got to come out. That's yeah. right. That's right. Out of the heart flow the issues of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of the abundance of the heart does the mouth speak. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Uh, 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 the position was in his heart. But yeah, then yeah. the power was, it was like a fire. Yeah. Okay. This is the best way Jeremiah could explain his dilemma. It was like a fire. Like, yeah. like shut up in his bones. Yes, the fire wasn't in his bones. It was in his heart, like a fire, a burning fire. Yes. Here's the predicament. For a fire to burn, it must get oxygen. Yeah. Right, 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 right. It's got to have air to burn. Yeah. The air keeps the burning fire burning.
burning. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah, right. The fire uh-huh. is burning. Yeah. So that means it's getting some air yeah. from somewhere. Yeah. It's being fueled yeah. from some source yeah. because it's burning. Yeah. Oh, how much? That's a continuous action. It, yeah. It's burning in the morning. It's burning. Yeah. In the evening it's burning. Yeah. In the midnight it's burning. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. It's burning. I, I, but here, 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 the further expression of the dilemma. Yeah. It's burning. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. But it ain't spread. It ain't yeah. spread. All right. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's a Woo. contained yes, fire. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, it's contained because it's shut up, shut up. in his bones. Yes, the bones kept the fire contained yes. and wouldn't allow it to spread yes. outward. Yes, so it continues to burn inward. Yes. Lord have mercy. Yes, it, it won't go away. No, no. It, it makes you uncomfortable. Uh-huh. It aggravates you. Yeah, Are there any preachers in the house? Yeah, yeah. It tortures you. Yeah. It provokes you. Yeah. The only relief you can get is to preach it. Yeah. You can't sing it out. No. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't teach it out. No, you, you got to preach, preach it. it yeah, yeah. Oh, how much. Yeah. That's the only way you're going to get some relief. You got to preach an inner fire is an invisible fire no one else can see it so since they can't see it they don't understand it because the fire doesn't burn in their hearts so they can't identify with you when you can't help it because they can help it it's an option for them but when the Lord has got a mind, when the Lord has laid his hands on you, you don't have an option. When the Lord has laid his hands on you, you don't have a choice. When the Lord lays his hands on you, you don't have an elective. How you can get up with pain in your body and go see about somebody that's hurting. Yes, sir. You hurt. You hurt. But you're going to see about somebody that's hurt. Yes, sir. Folk don't understand that. How just they don't they don't understand how you can stand when you got enemies all around you. But they don't understand when you got bills due. And you still go to the pulpit and tell folk he's a way out of nowhere. Uh, They don't understand how when your burden is heavy, you can tell them that his yoke is easy. And his burden is light. I'm trying to close now. Uh uh They don't understand you can go to the pulpit. Sometimes aching on the inside. You have problems. You have pressures. Your children ain't angels. Lord have mercy. Your marriage is not Heathcliff and Claire Huxtable. But yet you can go to the pulpit and tell men that there is a bound in Gilead. They don't understand that. They, they, they don't understand it. And they try to tell you you can quit. But you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. And here's the conclusion, and I'm out of your way. Jeremiah said, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't stop preaching 
his word. His testimony was, I can't help it. And that ought to be your testimony tonight. That you just can't help it. That's my testimony, Billy Spring Manly. I can't stop encouraging, edifying, and ennobling the people of God. Uh -huh. I can't help it because his word is in my heart. Uh -huh. You all not can help it because you've been called to preach. You didn't take preaching up. Preaching took you up. You can't help it because you were born uh, to be a preacher. You, you can't help it. You can't help telling men that he was born in Bethlehem. Raised in Nazareth. Baptized in the Jordan. Tempted in the wilderness. Caught in Jerusalem. Worked miracles in Bethany. Was arrested in Gethsemane. Tried at the Bapha. Executed at Golgotha. But rose that Sunday morning from the garden. Do I have a witness in the You can't help yourself. You can't help but tell me that he's a way maker. He's a miracle worker. He's a light in darkness. You can't help it. Because God calls you. That's why you can't help it. I'm trying to help somebody. Oh. 